and welcome to a new video today i'm going to be painting on something i don't know why i say that in every intro because i of course i will paint i always paint and my username is paint so like why wouldn't i paint anyways in this video i'm going to be painting on a canvas can canvas yeah this actually got requested on my tiktok so that's why i'm going to paint it in this video i actually have been painting on canvases before and i really enjoy it here's two of them a sky at the night and spongebob those that i just showed you is the same size as the canvas i'm going to paint today okay let's start now and let's start with taking this plastic away from the canvas so we can paint it was actually kind of satisfying to do that I thought about what I should paint on this canvas and I came up with the idea to make like a sky of blue um, pink and yellow and then some clouds on there and I wanted the colors very very light so I got my paint I got my brushes and I got my paint palette and started to paint Oh yeah, um, first I have to move everything from the canvas. And then I could start. I wanted blue at the top, so I took the blue I had and white and mixed them to a light, light, light blue color. And started to paint. Sorry, I don't know why I had to do that sound effect. I just love it. And the feeling of making the first paint uh, line is amazing. So I had to put that sound effect in, okay? And here comes the first issue with this painting. I wanted a pink color under the blue color, but for some reason my brain glitched or something and I started to mix a yellow color, which I shouldn't have done. I was happy at first, I thought it was going to be a good drawing, but when I realized everything just didn't went my way. I still need the yellow color for later, but the problem was that the blue paint already dried, which makes it hard to blend with other colors. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. I still love that sound effect. I started with a pink and was like, oh, this is going to be good, no problems here. But then when I was going to blend the blue and pink together, it looked terrible and it was like impossible to blend because the blue already dried. I will deal with that later, but first I have to blend the pink and yellow together so I won't get that problem again. And it actually went kind of good or like at least better than the pink and the blue. And here comes problem number two. I needed more yellow. So I mixed yellow and white and tried to get the same shade. And this happened. I ruined it. Again. I tried to put some of that pink in the yellow to like make it darker. And it kind of worked, but it still doesn't look good. Then I needed some more blue so I could fix the problem that I did before. So now I'm just trying to make the pink and blue work together and blend together, but that didn't work good at all. I think I just made everything worse because that looks terrible. I had some more to do at the bottom so I just made a very very light yellow and started to blend that with the darker yellow that I did before.
and then time for the cloud but I almost had no white color left because I used everything to make light colors I got a little bit of white out and started to dot with my brush to make it clouds I also want to tell you all that I like never painted clouds before or maybe sometime but like I'm not painting clouds that often so that's my excuse why I'm so bad at it I could make some clouds with the white paint I had left. When the white paint I had was empty, I had to open a whole new package of paint just to get the white because I didn't have white anywhere else. And that paint was really watery. And the one I'm using now is watercolor and the one I used before was acrylic paint. And I don't know how good it works to mix paint types like that. But it worked okay and I had to go with it because I didn't have any other white color. When I was done with the clouds, I felt like I wanted something more in this picture. So I got my pencil and sketched up a hot air balloon. And I should have thought about this before I painted the clouds. Because it was kind of hard to paint it under the clouds, I would like the clouds to be under the balloon instead so you could see more of the balloon. But now it's too late, so I had to go with it. I started to paint the basket or whatever it is in a brown color. And then I did the balloon uh, in three different colors. I started with a dark blue. And then red for that middle part of the balloon. And then yellow for the last part. I also wanted to outline the balloon so I tried to do that with a black marker but that didn't work. So I ended up doing the outline with normal black paint. I added some stripes on that basket or whatever it is to like make some texture I guess or something. And then I was ready. Voila, here's the final result. Okay, let's be honest. I hate the transition in the background. I hate the clouds. And the hot air balloon is not the best. And here they are together. And the hot air balloon painting I did today is definitely not my favorite. But I hope you enjoy this video. If you like what I do, subscribe and give me a like. That's everything for today's video. See you all in next video. Bye bye. Woo!